everyone, I'm Amy Booth and welcome back to the Blue Rose Kennels YouTube channel sponsored by Canine Chronicle TV. Today we have a little bit of grooming for you. So we have an intro to doing feet on a golden retriever. That's our demo dog for today, so stay tuned. Okay everyone, today we are going to go over grooming a foot on a golden retriever. Just because we're using a golden retriever doesn't mean it's not the same techniques that are used on other breeds, so hopefully you can learn something from this no matter what breed you're grooming. So here we go. The grooming tools that I would recommend for this project are a grooming mitt, a pair of 4420 thinners, and an extra fine point five and a half inch pair of scissors. If you don't already have these pieces, they're available on our website. I'm gonna show you the mobile view of our website right now. And we have a store online with our recommendations. Currently the links are all through Amazon and a couple with Walmart, but we will be adding the Show Dog Store links soon. As you can see here, I'm gonna scroll to the mitt. Here we go. Here's the mitt that I use for doing feet. And if you scroll down a little bit further, you'll find some scissors that I recommend from JL Sharp Shop. And we have a discount code for you for 10% off. Amy sent me all in capital letters. So here's some of the various scissors that are available and you can find the ones that work for you. Going on to the front feet. The first thing that you're gonna do is brush the foot out with that grooming mitt. and I always start from the bottom. So I'm gonna take my scissors and clean out around each pad, every digit, get all that loose hair out, out of there. Some people shave this area, I prefer to scissor it, and the reason is I find that it's less irritated when you just scissor trim the hair in the foot. Sometimes they uh, begin to lick their feet if you trim it too close with a with clippers of any kind. So just trim around every toe, get rid of any extra fur so you can see what you're doing, and you make sure that black pigment around every toe can be seen easily. Now we're going to clean around the edges of the foot. Sometimes my hand might get in the way, I apologize. I'll try to keep it out of the way for you. So I kind of thread my bottom blade of my scissors with the extra fine point around the dog's toenails. You're gonna want a slight amount of toenail to show on a show dog trim. Always stop to brush, clean up the area so you can see what still needs to be done. I'm going to scissor off anything that's long and then I'll blend it in a moment with my thinning shears. Always stop to brush again, lifting the coat in both directions down and up to see how it naturally would fall. I use my thinning shears from behind. I wrap my hand around behind the foot and come forward so I get a nice shape and a full foot. Brush again. And as you get the shape of the foot going, I'm going to clean up around the edges again threading that bottom blade of the scissors around those nails so I have a nice line. And this is where that extra fine point comes in really handy. 
it gets into the crevices really good for you. Now I'm going to lift the foot up, brush it, and again go around each nail and just slightly trim it. Make sure I have some nice flat lines on my trim. All those little wispies, little bits at a time. Slow and steady wins the race. I'm just touching up those bottom edges one more time. It is a definite process to get that nice full fat foot. And I'm just about done and you can already see the difference between the trimmed foot and the untrimmed foot. Brush one more time, clean it up. Lift it up, oh, I see a little bit here, so I'm gonna trim a little bit more. There's always little bits that you can trim up and make neater. Finishing touches, one last brush, a little bit more thinning. Now I'm just going to blend those edges just a little bit with my thinners. Brush it out one last time. And there you go, before and after. Here's your front foot trimmed. Now we'll go on to our rear foot. Again, we're gonna start with the underside of the foot. It looks like I have this dog's leg lifted up a little bit too high. It's just slightly above the hock. It's just the angle that we're taking this shot is from uh, lower. So I just want to remind you never put the dog in an uncomfortable position by lifting up the leg too high. Obviously this is a comfortable position for this dog because she's not moving on me. Once I'm happy with the bottom side, I'm going to again trim around the edges with my scissors. I'm sorry, it's you're unable to see the inside trimming of the foot. Sometimes when I've taken the camera around the edges, you can get a little dizzy, so you might just see the outside of trimming the rear foot. But it's the same exact process on the inside of the rear foot. So I'm going to brush it up slightly and take those long wispies off with my scissors. I'm going to brush it up, brush it down, brush it up. Look at the volume of the hair. I'm going to lift the dog's foot up again in a comfortable position for her and trim again around the edges a little bit more. Sometimes in different angles, hair pops out where you thought you had it trimmed. And I'm going to neaten up around every toe, every toenail. Again, using that bottom blade of my scissors as like a needle that I'm threading. I'm going to thread it around that toenail and clean out that those wispy, troublesome hairs in there. And just cut little bits at a time, and before you know it, you'll have it all nice and neat. 
And this is the side. You can't really see what I'm doing, but it's exact same technique as I did on the outside of the foot. Going around the toe right now and cleaning it up. Brushing up, brushing down. Now I'm taking my thinning shears and going down with it from behind. Taking some of that volume out, cleaning up around the rear of the foot, below the hawk. Again, just taking some of those wispies off, brushing down. I brush down, brush up. Neatening up even more around the edges of the toenails. Again, this is where that extra fine point that JL Sharp Shop can put on your scissors for you. It's really helpful to get in these crevices around the nails. Lift it up and go around every toenail a little bit more. Brush again. Brush up, brush down. I'm going to use my thinning shears to blend those edges that I just trimmed with my straight scissors and blend out the front of the toes. You can see it all taking shape again now. My process, I go back and forth a lot between my straight scissors and my thinning shears. Switching again. Stop to brush. Cleaning out right here, right in the front of that toe a little bit more. And we are done. The rear foot. So I did a quick demo for you on one front foot and one rear foot. Typically when I'm training someone new, I do one side and I have them do the other. So now at home, it's your turn to do the other side. If you enjoyed learning from this little snippet of grooming today, please feel free to look in the description box down below where we'll have a link to the GroomingLand.com's webinars where several of the top professional handlers have different webinars on different breeds. I myself have one on Golden Retrievers, Smooth Fox Terriers, and Brittany's. If you have any special requests for videos, feel free to comment in the box below. Again, if you're like what we're providing for you on our channel, please subscribe, like this video, set the notification bell so you're notified every time we upload something new, and share this channel with anyone you think might like it. Thank you, and we'll see you in our next video.